What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I got some more Blackout Battle Royale news and recaps for you guys, updates that are possibly going to be coming on the way for the game, that kind of stuff. So first off here, we have a new LTM coming to Blackout called Afterlife, and this mode was actually leaked out over on the Call of Duty app for your smartphone devices, and on the application it says a little description of Ambush, and it says, Ambush is on, a new Blackout mode has hit the front lines, Ambush. Scope Joker and Dead Silence just got a hell of a lot more valuable because in this battle of tactics, all you'll find are sniper rifles and melees. Keep your eyes peeled for Outlander 2 because once the circle starts collapsing, it never stops. So basically guys, within this ambush mode, you can only find two types of weapons, snipers and melees. And then as soon as that storm starts going, it never has an in-between pause period, you know, to collect loot, heal, that kind of stuff. The storm is just constantly moving, so definitely sounds pretty hectic, a lot of fun for sure. And Treyarch, like I said, did not plan on releasing this game mode, but then later on on Reddit they did comment on this and said, It's true, Ambush is coming soon in Blackout as our next LTM in Blackout. Down But Not Out will be live for a couple of weeks on each platform, which started on PS4 earlier this week. We're planning to launch Ambush into the wild immediately afterwards, so enjoy the insanity of DBNO while it's live, and let us know what you think of the redeploy system while we put the finishing touches on what's to come so ambush is more than likely going to be coming out within about two weeks that's my guess i think that's how long down but not out is going to last um i really did enjoy this game mode but a lot of my friends felt differently they did not really like the new ltm i thought the hecticness was pretty crazy and a lot of fun for sure but ambush to me sounds a lot more fun than down but not out i cannot wait to have that game mode here um, sniping is one of my most favorite things to do in Blackout, so I cannot wait to finally get on that. Um, like I said, this mode was not supposed to be revealed to us yet, but I give it about two weeks until it finally launches. And then for our next piece of news I have here is from David Vondahar, and he kind of is hinting towards the concussion grenades possibly getting vaulted or removed from Blackout Battle Royale, and this is coming over on Twitter. And I'm going to have the tweet on screen for you guys. And he replies to Optic Midnight and Prestigious Key's tweet. He says, um, I agree with Midnight, but not Prestigious Key. Don't add me. So that's kind of like a little funny troll right there. But basically, they're both agreeing that Blackout should not have concussion grenades. And I agree with them too, because no matter what type of armor you have, no matter if you are pinging enemy teams or enemy players up, all it takes is just one concussion grenade and that guy is more than likely going to die. Like, if you have a, a concussion grenade in a gunfight and you toss that down, the chances of you winning are severely, severely low. And it's kind of the same thing with the 9-bang. Like, the concussion grenade is just pretty much a mini 9-bang right there. So, I don't know. I, I feel there should not be a piece of loot that just automatically gives a player um a, a a better advantage over them you know it, it should take gun skill it should take map movement and placement in order to win a gunfight not just a simple loot item so i don't know that's just how i feel about concussion grenades but let me know down below in the comments if you guys feel differently about that and then lastly here, David Von Der Hart talks a little bit more about the armor meta. And he says, we aren't done tweaking the armor meta. Protection amounts, spawn frequency, and maybe even durability are still on the table. I meet with Maddox about it today to review the latest proposal. So um, armor meta still being in the works. I agree with this guy, this RKO Legends guy. I do feel that that level 3 armor should be in supply drops only. Um, I don't know. It, it just seems so... Uh, fluent and frequently that you find level 3 out there. I come across it all the time in a game and I don't know, it's it just insanely unfair that if you just pick up this type of armor then you automatically do have a better advantage um, over another player. If you were to only get it in supply drops then that actually kind of forces players to go out and want to go loot, want to go play aggressively and, and get the best armor out there but then at the same time you have to realize um, I'm putting myself out there in the open. Um, is this really worth the risk? That kind of stuff. So I do agree with RKL Legends. Armor should only be in supply drops. Um, but please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. There are a lot more updates coming to Blackout. Like, this game is ever so changing. It's not done at all. Um, 
but that's a good thing because the devs are listening to our feedback. They have actually changed a lot of stuff and a lot of our complaints are being listened to. So um, Blackout is very, very fun, having a really great time with this mode. If you guys have any concerns or anything that's bothering you about the mode, you know, just tweet to David Vonnehar because he may reply, he may see an influx of people that feel the same way and you know stuff may get changed like like i said earlier the devs are listening actively to the fan base and they, they're doing a very good job blackouts is so so fun love it a lot more than multiplayer um i'm also streaming the game a lot more too if you guys didn't know i have been streaming on youtube um i, I have don't really have a set schedule haven't had all that planned out yet but that that is here and uh, yeah, so maybe you guys can come check out the streams whenever you get the notification. Make sure you turn notifications on and uh, subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout tips and tricks, news, and more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love y'all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you later. Peace.